Google Glass. Uh, at first I thought these were called Google Glasses. I saw a sketch featuring them on SNL with Fred Armisen, who was on Weekend Update, and I thought it was a joke. I really did. Uh, it looked kind of goofy. But this is a product from Google coming out at the end of the year. Uh, I wouldn't call them glasses per se. It's kind of a band, not really a visor. It goes on your head. It has this little device, this little box chip thing. allows you to access the internet. So basically while you're walking down the street, in uh, your peripherals almost, upper right, you can view stuff on the web. So this doesn't work like the Iron Man technology. This isn't like a full screen. It's not going to take up you know, all of your space or anything. But uh, it looks very interesting. Uh, the style and look. Some may say it looks nerdy. Uh, there's no real style to it. It's a very obvious device. No colors that stand out. But uh, I think they just have the prototype right now. So by the end of the year, it could look completely different. Uh, accessibility is good. Uh, they have the glass button, which allows you to take pictures and video. And the scrolling is really interesting. You just move your finger across the band, and uh, you have to watch more to find out. Uh, easy to access, simple voice instructions. Uh, I think you have to talk relatively slow. So when you say, like, uh, give me directions to this place. Uh, comfort level fine as long as you're not wearing normal glasses uh, I remember in one video of Fred Armisen wore them he was actually trying out the real product and the Google Glass the band wouldn't fit over his glasses so I'm not sure how that's gonna work out I imagine they want everyone to wear these so they'll make it fit for everyone even with glasses uh, the features nothing really revolutionary I mean the internet you know, I imagine like 90% of the country uses it. 90% plus. Uh, the internet Wi-Fi, I imagine you need a really good signal. Uh, you know, you're walking down the street, let's say. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. You probably need a data plan or something. But that'd be awful if you're like, you know, looking up directions. And all of a sudden it just stops on you. Connecting to net zero. Uh, pros, the GPS navigation, really helpful. Uh, when you're driving, I mean, obviously people are going to walk and talk with these. They're going to be driving uh, with directions, very helpful, very useful. Uh, the point of view, video and photos, no pun there. <laughs> uh, that'll be great, I mean, if you're like location scouting for a movie. Uh, for me, I like to do vlogs, so walking around with that thing instead of, you know, pointing a camera. It'd be less obvious, because I honestly don't want to attract attention when I'm doing that stuff. So I could just look, and I'm not sure how much of what I'm seeing is going to be captured in the video, or in the photo. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, the cons. Battery life. In one of the videos you said, if you record like 30 seconds of video, that's going to take up the whole battery. I do not like that. That is not a good selling point for me. Uh, more car accidents, people walking into walls. Uh, might be bad for the eyes. Uh, and eye diversion as well when you're walking and focusing on that. Uh, bad weak internet signal, again, could affect you. Possible eye damage, long term, short term. I don't know, when you're focusing on that close screen too long, I think that over time it could do some damage, but I could be wrong about that. That's just a guess, a theory. Uh, this could be good for meetings, like, you know, we've gone from conference call to Google Hangouts, maybe to video call now. You know, you're looking at everyone in the room, or whoever you're with. I don't know, but it's just an idea I had. I could really help with businesses. I think Tony Stark's AI gear, you know, the headset and all that, that looks better, more stylish. But those are my notes.
So look for this at the end of the year. On one video it said that this could cost as much as 1500 bucks, which is a lot of dough. Uh, hopefully they'll consider people's comments and lower the price. I mean, something like this shouldn't cost more than, you know, 200 I think. It's not like it's introducing the internet. It's just a different way of viewing it and accessing it. But I think this product could do a lot of good, a lot of benefits. Um, there are a lot of pros and cons that you can say that about computers and that too, though, in general. But I, you know, I would like to shoot some video with this, take pictures. Honestly, that's probably like all I do. Because me, you know, like when I'm at work, I don't check my messages on Facebook or anything. I don't log on to a computer. My phone doesn't have internet access. I like waiting until I get home. Because then you have something more to look forward to, you know. But yeah, for me, I mean, it'd be great for vlogging. And, you know, some people are worried that, well, it'll look too obvious. People think you're filming them all the time. It's like, well, if you carry a camera with you, people are going to say the same thing. And if this Google Glass catches on, it's likely a lot of people are going to be wearing them and it'll become a, more than just a fad. So it won't matter. It's like so many people will have them, you know. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, let me know more specifically, like, how much would you want to pay for these? Are you looking forward to them? Do you think they'll become popular? Is this a revolutionary product or just, you know... It, like, is it better than the mobile phone? Do you prefer it over the mobile phone? Leave some video responses, subscribe for new videos, and thank you very much for listening. Oh, and don't miss the internship in theaters next month. Uh, it has to do with uh, Google internship, so I'm really curious if they're going to use the Google Glass in the movie. That sounds weird to say. Google Glass. Google Glass. The last of Google. Anyways, thanks for listening. Have yourself a wonderful evening.